Hi everyone, and welcome back to our seven-part series of what's new in generative design with Solid Edge 2019. For those of you who are following through, welcome back. And for those of you who um, this is their first video, definitely check out our previous ones. We've gone over a lot of new things um, from loads to constraints to the manufacturing settings. And for this video, we are going to go over the new displacement constraint. So for those of you who are new, let's briefly go over this part. It's stainless steel. Uh, the design space is um, this entire green region, so the entire part. Uh, we have the preserve regions of, I believe, 3.484 inches for all three cylinders. So they're preserving those cylinders um, shapes for us. And the load is 0.5 in the negative, um, well, 0.5 in the negative z direction, and same offset value. And the offset value is the amount of material that Solid Edge is saving. Let's undo that for right now. We have a fixed constraint and a pin constraint in blue and in purple. Oh, I actually think um, we didn't change those colors. Although, if we wanted to, we can definitely do that. So if you want to change that, um, change the, the size or the simple spacing, just like how we did here, we can do that. Um, so, yeah. Oh, I didn't actually change it. Let me go back, press enter, and now it's changed. And um, the new difference um, in this particular part that I m did mention is our displacement constraint. So um, this is completely new. Essentially what it means is that the value that we select right here, uh, 0.039 inches, so these surfaces are allowed to move in the normal direction that we decided, which would be the surface. Um, you can also change the direction, but we, we decided normal to face. So this constraint or these surfaces can move in, in the um, 0.039 inches into the part until um, so they're going to keep it constant until it reaches that value and topology optimization op optimization will take over and will essentially like eat away at the part but it has the displacement value of 0 0.039 inches um, into the feature um, to keep it um, keep the shape essentially and we have an offset value of again 3.484 so um, you can also change the direction, but it would make sense to keep it into the part because that's where your design space is going to be. Um, you can also do along a vector, coordinate systems, but for us, um, this part made sense to just do it normal to the surface. So we are expecting to keep these um, shapes relatively the same. Um, so we shouldn't be seeing any holes um, in these surfaces. We should be keeping them relatively the same, but um, only for the green highlighted parts. Um, and here we can see that we can also change the color as we did before and we can change the, the sizing of it and the density. All right. So uh, let's see what we get. And this is the seventh uh, topology optimization design. Oh, and it was also run for about 10 minutes and 53 seconds with a mass reduction of 25%. So here we see that our loads are pretty good. Um, there's not a lot of red, um, red high stress areas as we seen in the previous values, I mean, previous studies. Um, the blue means they're very low stress. So it's a pretty well made part for, for these uh, designs, constraints, and loads. But what we really want to pay attention to is the displacement. So we can see, um, let me toggle through, let's see, the material spreading. Um, well, let me press escape. So if we toggle through, we can see that um, for previous values, um, our previous shapes, oh, let me. So let me go back to this um, design study. So we were able to see, you know, that there were some holes because um, we didn't have the displacement constraint. So you can see the big difference if we if we did toggle through, um, which we are doing right now. Um, so yeah, you can see 
the surface is held constant with the displacement constraint and then all the material was taken out in these regions and these regions and it's only a 25 percent mass um, reduction so i'm sure that if we um, increase the let me press escape again if we increased um, the material reduction that you would probably see more uh, more structures uh, some more mass being uh, eliminated but it would be interesting maybe if you in your free time to play around with the displacement value and the material spreading to see how um, the structures would be so as we can see here this 25% um, and something that I didn't show is that the original mass it even shows you the original mass with the mass target so you don't even have to do percentages you can just type in whatever um, mass target that you wanted to so say if it was 800 then you could do that as well uh, but we're just doing it by by percentages right now so yeah that was the displacement constraint um, definitely play around with that. Uh, the next couple videos, we will be moving away from this hinge part and we'll be moving towards um, this design um, block. So we're going to be going over um, factor safety and some load cases in the next couple videos. So definitely tune in and check out the previous ones. So thanks everyone and have a good day.